The next metal that we're looking at is potassium and this is the most reactive one that we're going to look at so far. In fact this is the most reactive metal that you would normally encounter in a school setting. And just like the previous two metals, potassium is stored in a container, inside a container, usually or often in a plastic bag as well. And as we can see, it's stored under oil. But just like sodium, it's not floating on the oil, it's sunk. So this is higher density than lithium. And as before, we take out a small piece. of potassium. Again, if you look at the size of the piece I've taken in comparison to a 20 pence piece, and that should be enough there for a couple of demonstrations. As before, you can cut it with a knife. Potassium is extremely soft. But if you have a leftover piece, it must be covered up so nothing can splash on it. Unlike sodium, we don't need to put it in with a tissue. That's just for convenience here. But as with the previous three metals, it's worth demonstrating that the water in the trough is neutral at the start. And as before, it's important that you use a fume cupboard. That reaction may have looked less vigorous than that of sodium, but you'll notice there wasn't any tissue to fix it in one place, and the reaction finished very quickly. It was, in fact, more reactive. And again, we can demonstrate that the water is extremely alkaline from just a small piece. And as before, this means the water is caustic and can cause chemical burns, so it must be treated carefully. And finally, you must make sure that everything is put away out of reach of the pupils so that no harm can come to any of them. And only when everything's been put away, only then can they remove their goggles. This video was produced by Drew Kirk Productions.